Blue Apron Big Back Dinner. I'm Felicia Michaels. And I'm Jessica Wellington. Would you please introduce our guests? Oh, by George, I would love to. All right, over here, this lovely lady, um, she has over 90 commercials she's been in, uh, too many guest star roles to mention. She just finished recording her special. Uh, it's called RVs and Cats. And that's going to be available on Amazon soon, so you should definitely check that out. This is Sarah J. Halstead. Hi. Thanks very Welcome much Welcome to the show, me. Thank you for coming. Nice Welcome to, to the show. Here. And then over here to my left, we have this lovely lady. I met her when I first got to L.A. Um, she's been on Comedy Central, MTV, True TV. Um, she's been in movies like Fifty Shades of Black and Bad Santa. She also has a, a special out there. Please put your hands together for Jenny Zarigno. 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 <laughs> I've never gotten it right. I you don't know that, right? <laughs> I'm sorry. I just like these. It's still spelled out on your phone. And what do you mean? It's, it's prepared. Zagrino, and you still put the R in a different place. Zagrino. Zagrino. Zagrino, yeah. You said Zarigno. Zagrino. Zagrino. fancy it up. All right, that's enough <laughs> of that. <laughs> it's fine. I it's like phonetic. it. I'm sorry. It I like phonetically it. phonetically spelled, though, but, and people just want to change it because yeah. they're haunted by Jessica the Z. just wants to yeah. change it. <laughs> Let me ask you this. I didn't know, by the way, that you were in Bad Santa. The I second one. The not second the first one. one. Oh, okay. And yeah. what did you do? What kind of character um, did you play? I was a character named Gina. I uh -huh. was a, a security guard, and I was a, a love interest of uh, both characters. Oh, really? One was love, one was purely lust. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Well, good for you. Thank you. It was it was my season right now, just all the Christmas movies, all the all DMs right. coming yeah. in. Oh, yeah. There you go. There you go. Can I, can I oh, say yeah. something, Felicia? All right. Go ahead. Say it. Okay. Uh, especially since it's mostly ladies here tonight, I'm really excited. I, I just did my first Tinder. <gasps> Wait, like you had sex with someone on yeah. Tinder? Like you did oh, them? Yeah. Did. I, yeah, yeah. Oh my god! Did. Tell so, me, physically. tell me everything. All right, so you I'm... went on your first date and you fucked that no, guy. No, we just had sex. <laughs> oh, you just had sex? Yeah. Oh, you, you're using Tinder old school stuff. That's what it's for. No, <laughs> oh, you need grinder. Not anymore. What you need is grinder. That's yeah. for men, dude. Grinder, grinder, That's grinder for gay for men. Gay men. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You know, or did you just want to be friends? It? You know? it was, I had a really good time. I'm probably going to do it again. <laughs> uh, Same person or a new person? I'm going to do a new person and I'll probably do him again, but I'm yeah. going to do a new person. This is a uh, new thing. Yeah, I mean, I just, I went three plus years without any sex at all. Whoa. What? Tinder's been around for five or more. I was afraid to use it. Why? Because I had been on one internet internet date before that, and it was not good. Yeah, they're never that good. Right. You know, you don't have to fuck the guy. Uh, you know, use Tinder just to fuck a guy. You can, but you, you can. can. Did you know that? Yes, I know. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but you can. But, right. Okay, you went three and a half years without having sex. Why not just fuck a friend? Like a friend. Oh, uh, well, that did or, happen. That's oh, what kind of oh, okay. catapulted but, this. Oh, and so then, you're like, oh, I oh wait, so you that. fucked a friend, and then you're like, I need to do this again. <laughs> well, and, we, and him and him and I did that again, but then it was like, okay, this is gonna be weird, so we stopped. Yeah, and then I was like, well, I don't want to stop. So, <laughs> 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 okay, <laughs> the monster has arisen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're not. Even, you want me to tell you another secret? Okay, uh, we, we today go to the I don't even know if you can call it this. I don't. But nowadays, things change. But I had like phone sex, but I guess FaceTime sex. Nice. Yeah, today. Nice. Yeah, that was, so you're today. on a roll. Yeah, oh, yeah. Jesus yeah. Oh, you're fresh. <laughs> <You're been awakened. laughs> Look at the mood she's in. You're glowing. Wow. She's in such a good mood. Right when I got here, she goes, "I'm in a good mood." <laughs> no, you you look beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. you are, no. but she does have a. You glow. get that fresh wow. come face. Well, you're like, like, I'm trying to do like a, yeah. a healthier 2020, and I think that being, uh, you know, having a healthy sex life is right. part of that. I agree. Yeah. All right. yeah. I should have figured something was up when, when you were posting shit about uh, roasting broccoli. <laughs> <laughs> like someone's trying to get in shape. Yeah. Well, life is good. Uh, well, I'm you, I think you, uh, you've inspired me because I've been on Tinder and I've just, there have been a couple of who are like, oh, I just want to fuck. And I'm like, ew. And now I'm like, no, I'm going to do it. Dude, I mean, I have some it. hot ones, dude, that I know we would never be in a relationship, but fuck, dude. And they're mm. younger than me. And I'm like, okay. Oh, I'm dipping into the 25. Yes. I'm like, I'm like, let's let's just see. I just want to see what this young wiener's all about. Yeah, young it's not bad, wiener. dude. Yeah, it's not bad. God, I have a 18 and a 20 year old. I can't fuck younger guys. Oh, I yes. can't. gross. We're well, not do that, that young. Right, but still. Yeah, but 25, 24, 24? maybe. 20. I, 
I slept with a 24 year old. Yeah, I think it's fine. I had one well, time. You guys are still young. What are you talking about? You can do that. Well, yeah, there's st- that. still a 10 year difference. Yeah. How old oh, okay. are you, Michael? You look younger. You're 28. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Poor Michael over here. By the way, uh, Austin, our on air producer, is still on vacation, that fuck. So God damn it, we have our other on air producer, the wonderful Michael Evans, sitting Hi. in for Austin. Yay. We also have Brett Erickson, who's running the cameras. He will be playing along. Please put the camera on yourself and say hello, Brett. Hello, everybody. <laughs> He's thrilled to be here. Uh, he had actually a Brett's wonderful. A I know yeah. Brett's awesome, but he uh, had a wonderful experience in Vegas where you sold out your a uh, podcast, right? We did a couple of live Congrats. podcasts in yeah. Vegas. Good for you. And uh, yeah, I'm still sort of recovering. Yeah. Do you want to plug your podcast? It's called Issues with Andy, and it comes out on YouTube on Fridays. Oh, nice, nice. Well, thank, thank you, you for uh, switching up the camera. And uh, why don't we move along and do uh, some of our stories? What we do is when they tell the stories, uh, that'll be one is a truth, one is a lie. Uh, you'll start out, and then you'll do it, and then you'll do it. And there we'll was there no comments on my Tinder stuff? No, uh, Ken Lofgren made sure to say today. Thank Hell you. yeah, Jess. <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank you, Ken. Shout out, oh Ken. Oh, yeah, Jessica, you were probably <laughs> fucking that guy like, I can't wait to tell people. Uh, <laughs> I can't wait. Right away. <laughs> I'm happy well, for I feel you. like just this is my life it. now. Anyway, I, I yeah, just say, yeah. I tell everything, and yeah. I'm gonna tell you guys what's going on. It's okay, we're well, good. I'm happy. Yeah, and you know what? There'll be guys out there who will be excited that yeah. you'll be telling now. people. About yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Yucking and, and fucking. And then, Jessica oh. Wellington. <laughs> I like DMs. that. Yuck and fuck. <laughs> Yuck and fuck. Give also, me the also a lo- great one. Pump and dump. Pump and dump. Pump and dump. Yeah. Pump and dump. That's a real thing. <laughs> yeah. Or is this a story? Is this no, this is real. A pump and dump. <laughs> the old pump and dump. Did you go yeah. first? <laughs> By the way, uh, <laughs> you go first. <laughs> thank you for listening, Kim. We're glad that you're back, and uh, uh, we appreciate all our listeners. And we want you to know that uh, our sponsor is. Blue, Blue Apron. Apron. If you ever wanted to try a healthy food delivery service, why not give Blue Apron a try? If you do think that you're going to try it, or just poking around uh, and, and you check out, uh, <laughs> let a <it> dick reference. <laughs> <laughs> and you get to the code box, put in liars at the code box, and you'll get 30% off. Please do us that big favor. We'll play Maybe a commercial a little later on. Your next one will just be wearing a blue apron when you show up. Take back yes. dinner, baby. Yeah. <laughs> and maybe he'll really work for Blue Apron. Yeah. Yeah. He'll be the sponsor. All right. So let's start it. Jenny, why don't you start your first story? Okay. Um. So I'm from Minnesota. Um, and we would have in my house, we would always have in my house, we would have in the neighborhood, like, uh, the travel, you know, like the traveling fairs that come and like hang out in a parking lot. Uh-huh. Um, okay. Like your county fair. Kind of like a county carnival. fair. So we had. Which one of the ones like at a shopping center? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like they would just set up and then like for a weekend and then everyone would just right. hang out. Right. So we had this one and there was a ride there called the Zipper. Do you guys know the zipper? Yep. Yep. Yes. So you guys know the zipper. Um, for those of you who don't know, it's like all these little carts kind of stacked on top of each other, and they flip and go upside down, and you know, they well, occasionally go guy. around, and then they stop, and they go around, and sometimes you're upside down, sometimes you're not. I decided on the zipper, and it was a fun day of funnel cakes and all sorts of good stuff being a young kid. Get on the zipper, and we go up, and it's spinning around and going upside down. (coughs) Something does not sit well with me, Uh uh, mostly a funnel cake, and we're at the top. It's spinning. I get sick. We're upside down. I throw up in the zipper. It goes down and drips into the next zipper, (laughs) and then it's just like keeps going into the zipper. (laughs) You threw and up over just, all over everybody. Yeah, and I think more people mm. were throwing up. I was spinning. Yeah, because and dying. you threw up. So just this, it was just like a oh god, what's that kind of water fountain where like the bucket fills up and then it goes yeah. down. Oh, next, right, right. And that bucket fills yeah. up and it goes down yeah. again. Yeah. How old were you? Like twelve. Wow. And you were were you there alone or with your who you were there with? Again? No, I had a friend with me. But you t- you were there alone. I just threw you up. And her fr- you and your yeah, friend yeah. at 12. She, yeah. She did got throw up on your fr- all over her oh, TikTok. And did okay. she throw up yeah. from smelling your throw up? Say, no, yeah. she didn't throw up. She has oh. a pretty strong stomach. Okay. We're still friends to this day. I'm that friend. Wow. If someone throws up. <laughs> That's a fr- that is like a ride or die friend. Now, do you remember when you got off the ride, if they hosed the ride down or anything? anyone said no. anything to you? <laughs> were you guys like, run? We're like, let's go. Really? Oh, hell yeah. You yeah. just get out of there, right? Yeah, you just like, left and no, they, you, what, you thought nobody would know who it was? I mean, 
<laughs> except for what do you do? You're 12 and you're like, I just threw up on everybody on this ride. I threw up on the bus. I think bus. they did close the ride for a minute to like clean it off. They did. But they're fucking carnies. They don't yeah. care. Yeah, yeah it's yeah, not even county care. fair shit. It's one of those like Kmart parking lot fairs. They probably oh, just yeah. ran yeah. that shit. Next yeah. group, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I once at Christmas time, uh, my brother and I had bunk beds and he ate uncooked uh, like fruit bread or fruit cake or something like that. And he threw up like between the bunk bed and the wall all the way down. And I was sleeping up against the wall. And I woke up at like two. I used to have really long hair. And I woke up at two in the morning. I was like, what the fuck is that? What the yeah. fuck? Oh, Did you so, vomit? No, but it was disgusting. And my stepmother had to get me up and go wash my hair. And oh. Did it get in her hair? Did it get in her, wait, her hair? Your oh, in my hair? friend's yeah. hair. No, her ponytail. Yeah, in her ponytail. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Wow. That's her hair. That is her no, hair. No, it was in a ponytail. She's wearing a hair oh. piece. So oh, it wasn't, okay. it didn't like go down and hit uh-huh. the top of the Did it get on thing you or at the all? vomit. Yeah. All over you. Yeah. Yeah. But it's you vomit. were upside down. Yeah, and then it spins back around. Yeah. Did you feel better when you got off? Yeah. You were sick all day. Did, did, people, <laughs> did people understand what was happening when it slowed down? Were they like, what the fuck? I mean, look, panic. I think it came down. People started panicking. They started vom- vomiting. It goes down. Wow, it's just they let a- me down. And then I get off the ride. And I'm like, we need to get the fuck out of here. And so we run. Well, we're see, like two little hot topic goth kids at this time. So it's Michael like- asked you if your friend threw up. But she didn't. But you're saying now that the other people in the uh, ride... I think they did. Oh, yeah. yeah. Or maybe it was just my vomit that just kept going. Yeah. Did down you and see down. it? Like where you when you were in the cage, did you see it travel to the other cages? I know that it went down. Like when it came out, it did go out of the cage. So it probably did hit him. <laughs> it was like it was like there's a bar, and then there was like mesh cage. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What are your thoughts, uh, Brett? I believe this one. You do? Why is that? Uh, because I've been to shitty county fairs and ridden those terrible rides. So this sounds like a very believable story to me so far. Yeah, funnel but this cake is and one movement. that you put up in a in a parking lot. Yeah, they all are. Yeah. But, or a well, field or something like that. Yeah. I think this was a movie theater parking yeah. lot. Mm. Huh. All and the little the towns. Zipper there? Like the little town I grew up in, we had our like summer fest days. Yeah, and they would set up little rides in the ma- on Main Street. Yeah, we did that during the pickle festival, but I don't it think we always <laughs> sketchy. <laughs> As Jessica likes to call oh, her Tinder dates. So, you said, it. <laughs> you said right, it's so matter of fact. Yeah, yeah we do it during the pickle festival. I get it. Ken Lofgren grew up right near the State Fair, so he said this ride's a pastime for him, and he's also uh, trying to eat dinner. So this actually oh. sucks. Oh, well, okay. too bad. Oh, sorry, yeah. Kim, hey, she sorry, was trying yeah. to eat funnel cake. What do you yeah. want me to yeah. do? You know. Sorry, yeah. sorry about that. All right. Well, that's a, f- a first. First, solid, good story. I mean, we are a podcast, but we're also a game, and I, I think you're a good player because that's simple. You get to the point. I don't think I believe s- it, but... Really? Yeah. No. Why? It's, it's, I've, she's like, oh, I threw up, and it was like, a, oh, dude. And then, and then she doesn't really know if it hit anybody. She didn't say anybody screamed. Right, or right. Nothing. She's that's just like, it point. probably yeah. did. Yeah, and... The, I and was vomiting. <laughs> Disoriented, too. I wasn't spinning. like, Ugh, wait, everyone. What's happening? Yeah, that's. A good I was just like, I'm remembered. vomiting. I'm stuck it. in this. Get me out of here. Me and my little goth pants you running away. By the way, I- incidentally, on Craigslist, like uh, maybe two, three weeks ago, I found a, a zipper, also known as the squirrel cages, on Craigslist for thirty-four thousand. I bet they'd take thirty straight up. <laughs> wow. If we wanted to buy one, a squirrel cage. No, 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 no like the, the whole zipper, zipper. the oh, ride. zipper cages. You could buy the ride to have if you had your own space for it. How did you come across this? It was just on Craigslist, I swear to God. It was a real How link. do we do a zipper? <laughs> do you want to recreate this? <laughs> I, zipper? I found a website that sold, do you wanna, sold fair we stuff. We could myth bust this shit. <laughs> yeah. I bet that all started when you were looking through your new apartment, right? <laughs> yes, it did. Yeah. I might, I might buy the Gravitron just to live in it. Remember that one? Oh, yeah. the blue one around. That's my favorite. Yeah. Yeah. I, I oh, definitely yeah. got sick on that Fuck one. That. You did? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that, that's our first story. Yeah. That's right. when you just look at everybody and you're like, don't you fucking throw up. Don't you fucking throw up. But then you would like go up and then you would like make yourself side ri- sideways. Yeah. yeah. Upside down. Yeah. But yeah. They had the ones though that would, uh, when it did do the thing, it would go up. Like the. The roundup. That's yeah. what that one was called. And kids' heads would like get, like their hair would get stuck in there. Whoa. Yeah. Wowie. Hey, Raver Basher, how are you? Thank you for joining the show. All right. Let's go on to your story, sir. 
Okay. Just um. saying, he's, just, he like, he's flirting with you all the time. That's why you said that. Yeah. <laughs> you should. Now well, you're yeah. all holier than thou that you got some dick, Jessica. Uh, I just want to say. Yeah. Let me and Ray Rebesher have a moment. <laughs> all right. Go ahead. I just want whatever blush you're using. Um, when I was uh, when I was born, I was born with a rare condition uh, called polyactyly. Have you heard of this? No. Polyactyly. No. Uh-uh. It's um, it's it's rare, but it's not that rare. One in one hundred thousand people have it, and it's basically when you're born with an extra finger or toe. <gasps> And Yay, I, I like was born, it already. <laughs> <laughs> I, was born, um, yeah. I was born with uh with a uh, a sixth toe on my right foot. Uh-huh. And because I was a newborn, um my parents were like, you know, let's take care of it. It's a really simple surgery. Uh-huh. And let's just never tell her about it. And she'll never know because we don't want her to feel, you know, mm-hmm. less than or like freakish or whatever. So, I never knew. But I had like a bunion on my right side of my foot, like, you know, and I just thought that's how my foot was. And um, but what they did not tell my parents and what's even more rare than this disease is once in a great, great while it will grow back. Uh-huh. I saw this on one of the Dr. Pimple Popper things where they were, were going to take off. It was like a tail. It looked like a tail on this woman. And she's like, we might not get it all. It's probably going to grow back. And it had already grown back once. I could prob- your toe probably could yeah, do that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, wow, a tail. I'm Now I'm very grateful yeah. that it was a toe. I thought it was the end of the world, but it could have been worse. You, you had a tail. Um, so I was uh, I was a ballerina. I had a dream of being a ballerina. As would a that kid. make you a better ballerina, though? It, More well, it, balanced? It made me worse. You would. You, <laughs> oh. That's a good point. But that's no, it made point. it very like I did everything humanly possible to avoid people f- seeing my feet because this bunion was getting bigger and bigger and longer. How and longer. old were you? Now I am like um, probably. Uh, like seven and a half, eight years old, and my feet are growing rapidly, and it's getting to the point where I can't fit my right foot into a ballet shoe. A toe I have a shoe. quick question: Is it a little toe that grew in, it's or a, a toe. big toe? <laughs> right. a little that toe. makes a big difference. It does make a so big it's difference? On the, it's on the end of my my right little toe, uh-huh. the one that went wee wee all the way home that one uh-huh. was okay. next to it uh-huh. and uh and now and i'm i'm doing everything to avoid you didn't people tell your parents see, no i thought i was a freak i didn't tell anyone i didn't know that i had this disease or that i was born with this condition so it's growing back um i'm completely uh embarrassed and mortified and like thinking that i'm morphing into something because i'm just a little kid and uh it took me quitting ballet because mm-hmm. in ballet you know we it, I'm, I'm from flint michigan was, the winters were cold and we had to you know take off our boots and, and what if it was the and, water and that did it maybe it could <laughs> I, I, I i drank the water <laughs> yeah I'm, oh my god i'm born and raised in flint I michigan flint, yeah yeah so um it took me like uh you know um quitting ballet and my mother knew something was wrong and I was crying that night after I told them that I quit and I didn't want to do ballet. And I was crying and she came into my room and <laughs> I showed her my foot. And she's like, oh, honey. And then we got it taken care of. And I still have the bunion on my on the right side of my foot. Is uh, it growing back poly- now? Uh, no, it's not. It's not. That was it. So did they yeah. take you to the doctor to have it looked at? They did, yeah. And, and did I, they I had try? It, I had it surgically removed again. again. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's sort of like shaving a bunion. Uh-huh. You start ballet you know, again. It's very, very. No, no, I never went back. It was to, the end of I, your that career. Was the end of my. Did it so have a it, toenail? It, did it have a toenail? Uh, it didn't get to that point, but it was <laughs> it was growing. Yeah. I find this story a little difficult though, because uh, if it grew what, back once, would it will it grow back again? Though? It might grow back again. It hasn't yet, but it could. Um, You'd get 10 minutes out of it for sure. Yeah. Should let it grow in. You think I should? <laughs> yeah, it'd be material. Yeah. Go, you know? 
Bummer think, you just filmed the special. This is why I think it's kind of <laughs> weird because I think when your kids are that little, like you are still clipping their toenails and stuff. Like if if my kid had a weirdness that was taken care of, and then it because my kid had a mole on his head, so even now still because the doctor said you got to keep an eye on, I, I I still look at that mole that your parents wouldn't constantly be looking at your feet, especially if they knew that that could grow back. Well, they, they didn't. Did know. They didn't know that. She said they did not know that. Yeah. Didn't know what they did that not. it would grow back. Right, I don't know. That's I don't know. Kids are pretty. Yeah. Kids are pretty industrious at keeping weird secrets. I know, but when they're that little and you're still making them take baths and still like your all your kids' feet are in your face. Oh, I I did yeah. everything to hide my feet. Yeah, I constantly had socks, how, slippers. How, how long of a period off. of time do you think this uh, encompassed? Uh, probably, probably two years of gradual growth. Wow. Yeah, and it really, really bothered me when I, you know, because you toe shoes are really narrow uh -huh. and, and I just couldn't I was like Cinderella's step yeah. sister I just couldn't fit my Ugh. toe in that Felicia has one big foot one I have foot. I was just thinking about my experience because when I was a kid I was in an accident where uh, my left foot was severed uh, at the ankle but they put it back together it was a very horrific accident and then uh <laughs> Uh, it didn't. It's about a size smaller than my other foot, right? And when I was married, my ex husband was really into feet. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! And sometimes during a moment of passion, <laughs> he would pick up my big foot, my big foot, or as I like to call it, my work foot. And then, <laughs> and then I would have to like change sexual positions to throw him off, and then I would offer up my little foot instead because it's very pretty. <laughs> wow. The one that got severed is pretty. The one that got severed, the ankle is a little banged <coughs> up, but the, it's real tiny. It's real <laughs> tiny. But then I have my work foot, which I do everything with, and that thing is a fucking monster. You do everything with. Whoa. Yeah. What do you What do you do what regularly when you're like that? Kicking stuff. Kicking yeah. stuff when you're in yoga and you got to go on one leg. I do it on that fucking foot. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, can you can you do it on the other foot? I can, but I'm a little I'm a little wobbly because it is, uh, you know, it's I'm my, I'm totally fine. I don't walk. With, they always said yeah. I would walk with a limp, but uh, but I find it interesting that your parents wouldn't know that, even though because that was like yeah. a weird thing to happen back then to it have was, your. It was such a rare condition. Yeah, you know, one in one thousand, one hundred thousand uh -huh. people. And did and, your parents stay together? Uh, yes, they did. Yeah, until my mom's passing. Wow. Yeah. And, and do you have brothers and sisters? I have. Yes, I do. And did they have any extra uh, limbs hanging out? No, no. I'm I'm the only one, and. I haven't told anyone about it. Would it be a have limb? You told Is them? it a toe? I don't know. I don't know. I maybe they're struggling. keeping the same secret. Yeah. What about? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, one, you know, one of them's got a tail. <laughs> yeah. Actually, my older brother does know. My yeah. older brother knows. My half brother, who's much younger, does not know. But does my not older know. Brother. He's got he knows now. He knows yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah. What are people saying online? People are saying, well, uh, Raver Basher wants to know where the Flint, Michigan ballet is nowadays. What happened to the rest of those girls? <laughs> 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 What happened to what? The, the rest of those girls in the ballet. They're all normal. They're good to go. Uh, you got out, it looks like. Yeah, you know, maybe they all drank the Flint water and have the You same might have condition. done yourself a service because, you know, ballet uh, dancers get their feet all fucked up anyway. Like, they're, you would have been. They're still fucked up. I was in it long enough where I have the really? ugliest feet ever imaginable. Yeah, ballet like, dancers are pretty normal. Yeah. Looking you don't got a work pretty, foot, yeah, though, do you? Ooh. You got a work <laughs> foot! <laughs> All right, let's, yeah, let's yeah. move it on. How about, uh, let's go to your second story. A second story. Okay, it's another vomit story. And it, oh, is the audience really? ready? It's a theme. <laughs> <laughs> Which vomit's true? Okay. <laughs> um, so again, back in Minnesota... Um, small town, we would do things like uh, barn parties. Yeah, we Hell have a club yeah. out in Calypso that's in a bar or in a barn, and you, yeah. they can't serve alcohol, but you can bring a cooler. So, I my friends that. and I, um, <laughs> that sounds like fun. We that all went, so I'd, go, I'd go right now. Yeah, let's right? go. <laughs> so, uh, my friends and I got invited to this barn party by my friend who was like, oh, it's going to be bands and stuff. So I assumed no parents, and I had no parents home at the time, and I had gotten a 24-pack of Coors. What? Yeah. And, um, How old no, were I did you? have parents there. Parents were there. Sorry. How old were you? Um, 16. And you got a 24-pack of? Yeah. Yeah. Was it like light Coors, like 3.2 like or something like that? Yeah. Very... I forget how we procured this, uh -huh. this pack. Um, and we get to the barn party, which is in this place called White Bear Lake. 
And we get there and there are definitely parents there. Many parents. They even like tell me where to park my car. And so I have this whole pack of of beer in the back and with my three friends. And I was like, man, fuck this. Let's drink this beer and show them what partying's all about. And so Had you drink the Southern four? accent. <laughs> so all of us like drank it and they were like sipping it. And I want to be like, nah, check it out. So I chugged this can of beer. I immediately Had you was drink like ever before. Not beer. <laughs> like I don't know. I was stupid. So I chugged this beer to prove to my friends I was cool. And then uh, about a second later, I was like, oh, no. And then I vomited all over myself from the beer in my car. Like, it went onto the floor. It got into, like, where, you know, where you lift up the um, the gas thing. Yeah. It got all in there. Impossible to get out of it. No, I mean, it was a nightmare. And they started laughing uncontrollably, all of them. Um, and on top of it, it was, we, my dad and I did have tacos that night. Oh. So it was a mess. And so then I had to get out of the car, covered in my own vomit, and then go into the main house to like clean up. And it was like, it was a big barn party with like, maybe like a hundred kids there. And I get into the bathroom and it's like all these like really pretty, pretty like pretty girls. And I'm just covered in vomit looking grungy as fuck the parents are like what's happening i have to go clean myself up of the vomit and the, but then i also am like i can't drive i had one can of beer um so i had to like sit there for like another hour and then finally i was like we're leaving i don't want to be here anymore and then i forced my friends to go back with me so you vomited on one can of drinking one can of beer yep projectile of light, it is not tasty no hey it's not maybe so bad. it was expired and you didn't know <laughs> No. Expired beer. <laughs> Shut up. <I> think- <laughs> Was that beer made in Flint, Michigan? <laughs> She's always coming up with I crazy stuff. A- Maybe the beer had an extra toe. <laughs> you know? I had a bad can of Keystone Light once. I, I'm a Keystone man through and through. I don't know if there's such thing as a bad can of Keystone Light. Well, it's not excellent. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm joking. Yeah, come on. That's that's high that's high life. That is Well, the I think you're a, a very good player because it, by telling two stories that are in some way similar that makes it hard to decide. She, well, we know she threw up on herself. Yeah. We know yeah, that for yeah, a fact yeah. because Yeah, it's 100%. So yeah. you procured that's the main the main part of the story. Yeah. So you got the beer but you don't quite remember how you got that beer. No. Re- how is that? How do you not remember? I don't how you remember. Got- really? First time we drinking got beer, beer all too. the time yeah. and, and stuff. I don't remember every time we got. Yeah, but your first time. Your first time though. No, I don't remember my first time. I was already doing meth and stuff bef- uh, before this. <laughs> well, can you remember the first time you got your meth? Do you remember that story? The very first time. I'm, yeah. Now I'm pretty sure it was Sarah next door that had me uh, do it, but I can't remember. Not my. All six to Sarah next door. <laughs> <laughs> That's something I would do. But yeah. It wasn't. It me. is Flint. Flint was crazy. All right. What are people saying online there, Michael? Uh, Raver Bash says, "Don't drink and drive. You might spill it." Yeah. Okay. That is, that is really good advice. <laughs> uh, what Minnesota town are you from? Also, Raver Bash. Also. Um, I'm from uh, several places: Eden Prairie, Hopkins, Minnetonka. Minnetonka. That sounds fun. Mm-hmm. Minnetonka. The <laughs> moccasins sure are made. That's oh, really? You know, Minnetonka oh, moccasins? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 All I right. Those. And then what, Prince is the next thing. town over. Prince is in Chanhassen. And there you go. Next right. town over from Eden Prairie. What you do, do you, you know? Think? Do you want to know a horror story that yeah. I heard whenever I was doing Uber Eats, right? So we, we would trade throw up stories on who's who's thrown up in each other's cars, you know, doing uh-huh. Uber. And this one guy had a, a guy that uh, threw up was trying to make it out the window, didn't make it, and it smelled horrific, and it went down into the crack of the window <gasps> and went down into the door. So he it smelled horrible, and he had to eventually take it to a place and have them take the door off and clean it all out. Oh, oh wow. my gosh. That's bitch. disgusting. What do you uh, think about these stories, Uber. Brett? <laughs> well, I think that story was totally disgusting. Thank you, Jessica. You're right. <laughs> yes. That Welcome. is real gross. <laughs> I think that uh, I now think that uh, Jenny's first story was the lie. Why is that? Because the second story just it, it rang true to me, like teenagers. <laughs> uh-huh. And the first story <laughs> seems now like maybe a little convenient to have it. Oh, I threw up on the other people, and then it went to the other. You know, it dripped on all the other people on the ride. 
One of them's got to be alive. Maybe she was yeah, trying. No, he's got <laughs> a point. <laughs> one of them's got to be alive. <laughs> that one, he's one right though. The first one, alive. the first one did seem way very realistic until the second one. Second one yeah, seems second more one real. Is pretty yeah. mild. They're hmm? yeah. Mm-hmm. They're both totally believable things that could happen independently, but I guess the second one seems more true. I don't know why. So you mean to tell me that when you went to the fair, did a parent drop you off? Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's, that's now that we got that started. out of the way. And then you ran <laughs> home. You, oh, wait, but you said uh, you ran when you left the video. You're like, we just got off that ride and fucking bolted, right? You ran. Yeah, out of the park. Out of the park. And then what'd you do? Just hung out till dad showed up. Till dad, well, okay. Was he, you didn't want to get the fuck out of there? You're feeling kind of queasy? What am I going to do? You're right. There's nothing you could do. You could yell, I suppose, yeah. but no fun. You're kind of cagey. You're like a cagey little liar. <laughs> <laughs> I can figure you out, Jenny. I'm liars. like, what the fuck is going on? Wow, you're good I, at her this Her pupils game. are Show, wide. My dad showed up in the Acura. Okay. <laughs> two-seater or four-seater? Four-seater. Or, I mean, two-door, four-door. Four-door. Okay. Wait, good. what? Well, if it was a two-door and she had to do that thing where you lift the seat up to get in the back seat, yeah, we that's had, a good yeah. way to get car sick on the way I'll home, just, too. I'll just say my dad's a trooper. He's been around for a lot of me vomiting on things. Wow. Okay. All right, well, let's move on to your second story, sir. Okay. So when I was four years old, my parents had enrolled me in kindergarten a year early because they thought I was advanced. And about... Little did they know. No, <laughs> <laughs> about a month in, I just quit responding to people. What? And people would call my name, they would ask a question, and I would just act like I could not hear them. Um, so In they, kindergarten. In, in kindergarten. Okay. So uh-huh. I'm four years old. Uh-huh. And I remember, I remember this happening. And it was because I could not pronounce my R's and my th, my T-H. Uh-huh. And it made me really self-conscious, so I didn't want to talk. So I just quit responding. I, I just didn't want to... Uh-huh. You know, I felt stupid. That was the irony. So uh, my parents took me to the Michigan School of the Deaf, Ann Arbor. Well, I took a lot of local tests, and they thought that I had, they detected a hearing problem. And they it went all the way to the Michigan School of the Deaf in Ann Arbor, which is about an hour north of Flint. And uh, they actually uh, diagnosed me with uh, extreme hearing loss and said that uh, I needed to be enrolled in a special school for the deaf. So for the rest of the year, I was uh, I I was in deaf school. But you you could hear fine. I could hear fine. I was faking the entire thing. Wow. And then. Um, I will tell you one thing I do remember about kindergarten is I remember going in so excited and I was like, I tell them, you know, they were doing the orientation. Uh-huh. And I remember running to the teacher and I was like, I can already spell is and it and of and the. And I was and excited. Math. And math. And crap horse. And food stamps. Oh, and man, Tinder. That was great. That was hot, hot jokes. <laughs> Hey, you know what I remember about kindergarten is I remember finding out one girl was younger than the rest of us. She was four. Her name was Emily. Never said a fucking word. I don't know really? what her voice sounded like Self-conscious, ever. yeah. Oh, Same yeah. shit. It's a lot of pressure. Well, yeah. when I took my kids to kindergarten, my youngest guy, they had me take him to go get tested because they said that something was wrong with him, like he wouldn't talk. And then uh, and then he would do this thing, like because uh, we would pull up in the car and they would take him out of the car seat. Right. Uh, this is actually preschool. And uh, he was like four. And then one day uh, he would do this where he would get all stiff like he would do that. And then uh, they were like, you got to go get this motherfucker tested. And then and then I turned to him. And I'm like, why do you do that? And then he goes, I'm shy. <laughs> I knew he was my favorite. Adorable. Yeah. yeah. So it's like man. sometimes kids do weird things. Yeah. yeah. Uh, did you ever have anything with one of your kids, Brett? Uh no, not really. I'm not a weirdo like all of you. <laughs> <laughs> really, none of your kids no, did a weird thing. I don't. Like... Th- I mean, not like kindergarten weird. I don't remember that there being any um weird things like that. Uh-huh. They're normal kindergarten. Uh huh. I mean, they're straight A students and they're perfect. So, all right, man, you got lucky. <laughs> yeah, well, you I did. didn't let them smoke meth. Yes. Yeah. 
<laughs> Let them. Good parenting. Hey, wait. So that ended with. So you were faking the entire thing. I, I, I was faking the entire thing, and then finally, I went into a sound booth or, booth where they just blared the the sound level, and uh-huh. I jumped. And so then they went back to my parents, and they said that I, I'm not advanced. I'm just dumb. Like, <laughs> what did they mean? Damn. Like deaf and dumb. Definitely. Oh, nice. No, Jess. no, I was. They said Just I. They, dumb. they said I had. They, <laughs> they said. Dumb. They said I had selective hearing. Selective. Like yeah. you hear what you want to hear. Yeah. yeah. I just can't That's imagine being an if, if someone said my kid was. If, I don't buy into this one at all because if you're if you think she's got the toe, I think so. <laughs> now I'm like, you got yourself a six toe bitch. Yeah. No, you know I don't buy into that one at all because like if if. If someone said to me your kid is deaf, I would be like crashing shit behind yeah. them. Especially you would know, you would already know by the time you got into kindergarten if your kid was deaf or not. Because in my other son, you know they had those uh, the new Volkswagen uh, uh, bugs, right? Mm-hmm. And they, I had and one of those. When they first came out, there was a color that was like this golden weird color, and he kept it was he kept thinking it was like a it was like a, a greenish goldish color, and he said it's like pink. And I said that to the doctor, and they gave him like a colorblind test, and they're like, "No, he totally passes it." And I was like, "No, no, no, something's up because I'm telling you, he's not seeing things correctly." And sure enough, they did more tests, and he was colorblind. So I can't hmm. imagine that if, if your parents would just be the like, youngest one is colorblind. No, the uh, my uh, Cruz is colorblind. Oh. Yeah, the older one is colorblind. So I can't imagine that your parents would be like, "Yeah, but." You know, I whispered once from the back, and I called her name, and she came. Like, I can't imagine that. Yeah, so I, d- I just don't buy well, into that at you all. You said she, that they would know definitely by kindergarten. Remember that it was a one-year early enrollment, right? Yes. Yeah, and but your kid hearing. is already like, blah, blah, blah. But right? What, how old were your kids when they were all talking and stuff? Brett, put down your phone and participate. Uh, 11. <laughs> <laughs> 11. <laughs> 11. Yeah. I, will, I will say, though, yeah, like, okay, coming from the Midwest as well, I understand how like that shit would happen. However, it's just like, well, one oh, way or another, she oh, either hit a toe, okay, okay, I guess, <laughs> or hit deafness. Yeah, like, oh well, all right, I guess There's the kid theme. is is stupid. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, no, <laughs> like that's. I feel like that's just the midway where we're just like authority says something. And we're just like, oh yeah, 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 okay. So, but you oh, were talking it. until kindergarten, and then in kindergarten <clears throat> you just stopped, and then they were like, all of a sudden you're deaf. I gradually quit talking because I was aware of my speech uh, impediment. Uh-huh. So it was it, making me self conscious. Uh-huh. And I felt like people couldn't understand. So were that self conscious at four? So I remember. I that. get it. Really? Yeah, I remember yeah. being self conscious. That's kind of sad. I, don't know. I was embarrassed. I'm just in, in as that, that young. I didn't give a fuck, dude. Yeah. What are people you still online don't really saying? Give a fuck, That's though. what are people? You're a great comic. <laughs> uh, Kenneth Lofkin thinks it's a lie, 100. percent Right, Kenneth. Right. I mean, um, oh fuck, I, I had a, I had a god. Oh yeah, when did the impediment go away? How long did you have the speech impediment? Uh, that went away like in the eighth grade with a lot of speech class. You were the kid like, that like therapy. randomly leaves class to go to yep, speech? Yep, I was that kid. Wow. Did yes. you get to come back one day when you had figured out finally how to say one of the things you couldn't and get to say it in front of everybody? Yeah. Do you remember but the I things was... you said when you had to go out of class to go to speech classes? Do you remember like, cause I remember, I had, I couldn't say my S's so I had to say things like Sally sold seashells by the seashore over and over and I over said, and I... over. <laughs> I had to say 13 because I couldn't say the and R. Uh-huh. So 13, I would say 14. And my name was Sawa. Oh, okay. That's adorable. We, that had a, adorable. Yeah. we had a guy That's in our class cute. named Ruben that in the all our lives we knew him. He couldn't say his R's. And then he came in one day in like the sixth grade and just opens the door back to the class. It's silent. And he goes, Err. And just says an R. And we all get, just went nuts. <laughs> right? yeah! It was pandemonium. Uh, what do you Ruben? think, Brett? I do not buy the uh, pretending to be deaf yeah, story. I don't, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't think your parents I don't think you can pull it off. Yeah. I, don't, I think that, yeah, there would be, uh, you know, like remember the scene in the Brady Bunch when the, uh, when the guy backed into Mrs. Brady's car and then he was going to sue the Bradys and he had his little neck brace on mm-hmm. and then uh, Mr. Brady tricked him by dropping his briefcase yeah, the on old the neck ground brace bit. and then he spun around because it's, it frightened him. Uh-huh. I think there would be too many chances for stuff like that yeah, to happen. Yeah, I agree. Like Brady. <laughs> Let me ask you, when you brought up the Brady Bunch, were you uh, afraid that no one would get that reference? 
Uh, no, not okay. at all. all right. It's a very popular <laughs> show. Okay. I'm gonna, you know, this is He's my take on this. Watching. I think that, uh, you know, Sarah's an actress and she is a comedian and by f- defect, whatever you call it, she has default. to be weird. Yeah, default. Yeah. Default. You were weird. Yeah. yeah. I could see you getting I'm away strange, dude. with being silent and uh, not hiding a, a toe, though. I think. Hmm. I don't think you hit. I don't think you hit a toe. All right. Well, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna throw to commercial, and uh, and when we get back, uh, 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 Michael here is going to do the recap, and then we're gonna take a vote. Okay. When I'm home, I don't want to run errands or have to figure out a meal plan, especially because I have kids. That's why Blue Apron is a great solution. Their chef-designed recipes are easy to follow and give you a balanced, delicious meal. Blue Apron is a quick and easy way to make high-quality meals that everyone can enjoy. Use promo code LIARS to get $30 off your first order. Blue Apron, take back dinner. All right, so we okay. threw to commercial. Nice throw. <laughs> <laughs> Good <laughs> talk. <laughs> the commercial is high tech. <laughs> we, we edit it in later so we it's don't have to torture the people that are playing that. online. <laughs> All right, so Michael, why don't you do the quick recap unless you think there's something that someone has added that you would like to talk about. Uh, hmm, I think we can get into the recap. Okay, Who do you guys it. want to start with? Let's here? start with Jenny. All right. Well, uh, so Jenny's first story. Uh, you grew up in Minnesota. There's a lot of, you know, like big parking lot, Kmart. Uh, type of not theme park but carnival type of stuff. Jenny yep. went on the zipper, also known as the squirrel cages in some parts of the country. Mm-hmm. Uh, you puked while it was upside down. It fell out of your cage into the next cage. Other people started puking because of your puke. It's perpetually going in a big pukey zipper. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then you got off the ride, got the fuck out of there uh, until dad came. Yep. All right. Second story you're at a barn party because you grew up in Minnesota. Minnesota. There's going to be <laughs> Minnesota? bands. Minnesota. <laughs> Minnesota. You're at a barn party. There's going to be bands and stuff. You thought there'd be no parents there. You're 16 years old. You chug your first beer. You throw up all over yourself. You go into the bathroom to clean it off. Mm -hmm. Uh, There's pretty girls in there, and the parents are wondering what the fuck you're doing. You can't drive home because you've been drinking one beer, uh, but but, uh, responsible. Yeah. Uh, And then later you did. About an hour later, right? What? See, she doesn't remember. How Leave? long did you wait? Yeah. <laughs> uh, sorry, this is the recap. That's the recap yeah. for, for Jenny's right. stories. Okay, you know, uh, the first story, like, how can you be throwing up and going in the zipper and then seeing at the same time where all your puke is going? So I think the first story is uh, a lie. I think the first story is a lie. Maybe she can hear people screaming, oh, my God. I'm I've never. Yeah, I mean, you can see the hear... vomit come out of it. I've never actually uh, witnessed or seen this. But um, because I was looking into her eyes, uh-huh. and her her pupils got way big on the second story, mm. um, like almost her whole eye was the pupil. Right? I know, but look at her eyes now. She's oh, got so huge you're saying, pupils. So you're saying yeah, she's but on it was, drugs? <laughs> I, I was thinking the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> I think that the first story is true. The second story is a lie. Really? Kenneth Lofgren Purely thinks the opposite. Purely because of her, her lizard Kenneth. eyes. Yeah. yeah. Wait, but what happens <laughs> when we agree with Ken? Oh, I don't know. That's my never happened. My sister used happened. to call oh, him cow eyes. I... Really? Yeah, my sister would be like, you cow eyes. I'd be like, okay. All right, well, let's take a vote. And Brett, what did you? What was your vote again? Uh, first story is a lie. I think the first story is a lie, too. What I you... think, oh. Go ahead. The first story is a lie. Yeah, but Jessica thinks the first story is true. I do? Yeah. I'm going first story is true. You're with me? Yeah. Uh, the only reason yeah. I would think the second story is a lie because you couldn't remember how you procured the 24 cans yeah, of beer. That's 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 yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. That's weird yeah, what's to with me. the fucking you beers, Jenny? You remember your first. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We're going to no. get them. And to vomit just on one beer. I don't remember. I don't know. That, All right. that got me too. So which story is the lie? Okay, well, the first story is... A lie. Yeah. 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 I never get it right. Well, where'd you I get never the beer? get it right. Where'd you get the I don't beer? remember. I don't remember. <laughs> I got the beer. God ah, damn it. Dude, God damn it, dude. <laughs> Fucking right. bullshit. Raver Basher got it wrong, I th- too. I think why wow. my eyes got big is because I was remembering it all happening and being like, And oh, all yeah. the drugs and alcohol. <laughs> I remember that. Kenneth Laughlin got uh, Ken. It. Ken got it right. Yeah. So uh, yeah, yeah. Ken goes right. fine. Oh, Ken never gets them right. I yeah, Ken, you piece of shit. I got it shit. right. I got it right. All right. Uh, so let's move on to Sarah's stories real quick. Uh, Sarah was born with a condition called pellicatuli. Polyatuli. Go ahead, Sarah. Polyacuity. Polyacuity. I was like, no chance. That was it, right? Do you know how to spell that? 
P O L Y uh, T Y L E, I believe. Yeah, you would know that if you had just searched it. You know what I mean? That's a good point. Well, it's been a long time since Mm. I've. But yeah, Maybe I'm quite, if it I, actually, your life. I'm I'm quite sure that's it. You can check me. I'm quite sure we're not allowed yeah. to Google. Oh, How do I oh, say okay. it one more time? I say polyactyly. Polyactyly, uh, which is having an extra finger or toe. And in, in her case, she had a sixth right toe, uh, pinky toe, a little one. Uh, your parents had it removed when you were just a little tiny tot, right? And um. And you never found newborn, out about it. Newborn. I never know whether to tell it to them or tell it to the audience. As tell her. it to the audience, like in bullet points. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sa- <laughs> Sarah had the toe. <laughs> Sarah's parents had the toe removed. Uh, then yeah, Sarah had a bunion for a long time. Uh, didn't and she didn't tell her parents. Uh, they very been very rarely in that condition. Um, they can grow back the toe or finger that you got cut off. So the bunion started getting bigger and bigger. At seven or eight years old, she couldn't fit her right foot into a ballet shoe anymore, and she's starting to feel like she's morphing into something. You end up quitting ballet. You're crying. Your parents come tell you what's going on, and you got it taken care of. Yes. Okay. What well, do you think of these stories? What do I think? Yeah. I think the second one is the truth. All right, let's see your second one. Which I'm is, on that. which is on that. Uh, when Sarah was four years old, she enrolled er- her parents enrolled her early in kindergarten, and soon after, she stopped responding to anybody or speaking at all because she was embarrassed of a speech impediment. Um, she was diagnosed with extreme hearing loss, went to school for the deaf for a year. Um, they found out she could hear fine and was faking the entire thing. Uh, and that's, I think that's the main Look, she can barely moment. contain herself over there. Look at her. She's like, I'm kind of in the That bowl. one's true, dude. Uh, uh, yeah. That first one's a lie. She didn't hide a toe. <laughs> Can't you see her? I'm going. I'm going to tell a story that I had an extra fucking toe. Isn't I that just, ridiculous? I just know how dumb the Midwest can be. So that's why I'm like, yeah. 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 But you actually, how long did you go to that uh, uh, deaf school? For a half year. For a half a year? Yeah, enough where I got held back and I had to do kindergarten again. I had to. Well, then you ended yeah. up just in the right age group. Exactly. God, it's so yeah. tricky because I can't believe that a, a mother would like not uh, get that the toe was growing back. That's so weird. Or, or a mom was sitting around like, "Fuck, I haven't seen my kids' toes in a when year." When do kids start <laughs> you know what I mean? That's themselves. weird. Isn't seven or eight maybe when you make? Yeah, that you do. They're like, "Go get in the tub." Yeah, and, and you just do. Yeah, yeah but you still go in there and make sure they clean up. You always and all wear that. socks. Only when they you have a question you did, like, I "Hey, wear socks. I think I got chiggers. What are these, mom, dad?" <laughs> Did everything <laughs> to not show that right. Yeah, if I had a nickel, you know. I did not want them to see this. that. Oh yeah. Also, she was humiliated about it. She was, and she's a kid. She's confused. She did a good. She she made an effort to hide it, right? Oh, every effort possible. Every effort I went possible. to great great lengths for she, she no went. one to ever see my right foot. You had a lot of shame growing up. Yes. But it's Brett, good Midwest girl. Yes. So you yeah. think the second story is not Still true, with me right, today, Brett? Jenny. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think that second story is true. I don't think a four-year-old can pull off a scam like that for that many I think many that months. they can. <laughs> yeah. You want to fight about it? Yeah, let's do it right fucking now. Let's do it. Yeah. Um, I'm going to say, although I that's weird to me about the foot thing, but I, I'm with you on, on the going to the deaf school for six months. So. You remember you remember the, my favorite Four holiday months. movie, Scrooged? Or for half Scrooge, year. right? Whenever yeah. at the end, and they get the kid to finally say, "God loves everyone," or whatever. Uh huh. Nice. He stayed silent for a long time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He had the condition though. Yeah, but yeah, aside from the fact that that's that was, fiction. I know, right? Yeah. That's what I'm just gonna yeah, say. Killer story though. <laughs> he really was uh, an autistic kid who didn't speak, and that was his breakthrough. Was Christmas. Yeah, right. Sarah's saying she faked the whole thing. This was you know what her breakthrough was, but she didn't, but she didn't fake it. that she couldn't speak all the time, right? She, so. She's well, just didn't speak that she in school. Can't hear. Yeah, yes. but then so what? How do we not that ask seems this? Seems like a hard thing to get away with. What about how did you survive six months in that environment? Did you learn sign language? Well, uh, yes. What um, can show us you just some sign language well, right now? Well, show us some sign language. It wasn't six months. Show us some sign language, Sarah. It wasn't a a a. Um, let's see, what was it? She a, was four. A, B, C, D, D E, e F. Uh, um, I, I know Y, M, C, N, A. Well, it K, was it was like L, four four M, months because it was it was half of the school year, uh-huh. so it wasn't quite six months. But yes, and I was I was learning stuff. But I'll tell you, if I knew that I mean, much sign language speak, right now, uh-huh. of course she knew a, B, it. C, I don't know that. I don't D, know about that. E. Uh, this might be it anyway. right here. Yeah. This might be and why it, that one's a lie. And then this is Z. Um, <laughs> I, 
Hey, I didn't know that. I thought that was just what Zorro did. You that's, know? No, that's, this really is how you do Z. Yeah, but my favorite was uh, when you go from I to J. Yeah, so did you cool. see that I remember, meme like, uh, that was floating around during Christmas where it's this little kid, like two years old, pre-verbal, and he's on Santa's lap, and oh, he's so scared, help. and <laughs> he's doing help in sign language. <laughs> <laughs> that made me laugh so hard. All right, let's take a vote. What are people online saying? Um, let's see. Uh, uh, Kenneth Walker didn't say, and this story is a lie, but it was during a fucking recap, and I don't know which recap, uh, but Kenny's skeptical. About which one? Just That's what I mean. I'm not sure which one he commented that during. <laughs> right, and I asked right. which, and he didn't respond, but I'm sure he's there. Yeah. All right. Well, let's take a vote. Brett, you say the deaf one is the lie, right? Yes, definitely. And what about you, Jenny? I say the deaf is the real one. It's the R- true story. Wow. Yeah, yeah I'm yeah. with her. Yeah. I think the first Shit. one's a lie. I've got no idea. I think the deaf one is the lie, but it is weird to me that you could hide the foot thing. For your, what was your mother fucking doing? Was she not parenting correctly, your mother? <laughs> she was a working mom. Oh, she was a, what did your mom yes, do for a living? Yes, we were a two-income household. We uh-huh. had to be a working so, foot. Yeah. Did you make yeah. any clocks yeah. while you were there? <laughs> I don't get it either. If you're... No, they okay, teach... yeah, that's what they do. Yeah, no, I did not. <laughs> oh, was that what they do? <laughs> that was good, Just. I actually think I got it mixed up, because I think it's the school of the blind that makes the clocks. Oh, <laughs> <God>. <laughs> <laughs> the only people who don't need a clock. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna say uh, the uh, uh, d- the deaf school is a lie. I just can't believe. Well, that. you Ew. okay? Fine. Uh, they're both sound. I hope they're not both lies. That would be terrible. no. I center the rules. I, okay. I played. I'm playing okay. by the right. by the rules. Here's the thing. Yeah. I knew. I know a girl who has the the six digit thing on the same spot you had it, but she just still has it. And she's got six toes on one side. She never got it removed. Never got it removed. Does it have a toenail on it? I'm very yeah, yeah. It's, to- by it's that. totally normal looking, and it's like it, it's mm-hmm. not gross. It just looks like if you glance at it, it's just like well, that's a lot of toes. You know what I mean? I don't know. Yeah. It's, a- <laughs> <laughs> it's an aphrodisiac for some yeah. cultures. Oh, word. Yeah, that's yeah. for her ex husband. Yes, he'd go yes, nuts he would go oh ape over that extra toe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And yeah, some I'm, painters are obsessed with it. Well, I'm trying to. I was gonna say a point that was gonna help me was that she knew the terminology for it and she could spell it and, and all that shit. But Google. would she think to look it up though? If she was gonna tell that story, and then I thought, well, she could have like a sibling that has this or some shit. Yeah, like is that. it genetic? Do you, did you have anyone else in your family that had extra no. digits or extra? No, there was yeah. not, well, not that I know of, uh-huh. but it's sort of one of those things. I think people would be outspoken about it now, uh-huh. but then. You know, I think she helped out a lot with the water crisis in Flint, Michigan. <laughs> yeah, and this is a real story that she stole from some other poor kid with a six toe. Fuck yeah! yeah. <laughs> I I, uh, I think I think the school for the deaf one is the lie. I'm going first story true. Okay, you're, yeah, I'm gonna go first story true. Although you, they both sound completely ridiculous. Were your parents ever like, "What the fuck is wrong with you?" Were they ever like? They still are. Yeah. And my mom, God bless her soul, like when uh-huh. she died, she goes, "You are a freak." <laughs> and then die. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm gonna say the uh, deaf thing is a lie. The first story is true. First one's a lie. First one's a lie. Mm-hmm. All right, Sarah. Ready? Which yeah. one is the lie? The deaf story is true. No! Oh, yeah! 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 How could that right. be? Oh, yes. Yes. Uh, yes. Yes. Got it. Yes, we oh did. Oh, yes, for get fucking some. Two. And ah. you two uh. really get me. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Wow. Really? Man, I feel like bonded to you now. Yeah. Man. <laughs> like I, mean, I have some new friends. I can't. I'm not good it's with like that. a club I'm not good or with something. Chicks, <laughs> Where did you pull the six toe story? Um, uh, a college uh, friend had that. Yeah, me. And I, yeah. Julie Maybe Deutsch. Julie, <laughs> shout out Julie. Hey, hey you're not going to believe this, but Julie, come in. Come in. You just <laughs> outed her. Deutsche on the oh. right foot side. <laughs> yeah, but I was fascinated because I always thought just leave it there. That'd be pretty badass to uh-huh. have, you know, Yeah. to have wow. a six toe. Yeah. I can't believe your parents didn't, uh, were like, shut up with her being deaf. Like, I can't believe It's the that. Midwest. Yeah. yeah. You, you, just, what, you like, do whatever the doctor says. Yeah, uh-huh. and the, Midwest, just like, the doctor oh, okay. is like God. Uh-huh. I'm like, oh, he's right. Yeah, yeah. people didn't yeah. question as much back then. No. They didn't, but the doctors yeah. and stuff. There was oh. no Google, no internet. Yeah. Back in my day, yeah. we, we didn't var- even have electricity. 
No, it's. <laughs> wow. <laughs> but Vargas and yeah. Ken were two for two tonight. I'm, oh, they wow. got uh, Michael I'm Vargas. Over. Hello, Mike Vargas. Shout out Vargas. Hi, right. Vargas. Wow. Hi, Var- wow. Vargas knows me. He gets me. All right. Handsome fella, Vargas. Well, you guys have been interesting guests. Thank you very much for Thank being you. our first oh, guest of the year. Oh, sure. We had a long vacation. Happy we New we are back year. on schedule, everybody. So I hope uh, people that are watching will uh, keep tuning in to us. And for those of you that are listening, know that we go live on Mondays at the Comedy Store's YouTube at 4.30 and most Fridays at 8.30. And if you ever want to play along live, please come do that. And thank you guys for uh, the wonderful uh, viewership and listenership that we have had. Our numbers are doing pretty well. Well, and uh, tell people about our, our story. Come uh, and follow us on our own YouTube, if you don't mind, or on our own Please, Twitter. the Liars Club. That would be great. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what can you guys uh, talk about yourselves that you want to push that people uh, can know about? Promote. Jenny? Um, I have some stuff happening that I can't say. Um, but wow. it's, it, it should be exciting. Um, you can follow me on, at, at Jenny Zagrino on everything on TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> oh, on uh, Instagram, Twitter. Why do you like TikTok shit. so much? I don't like TikTok. I just have to do it. It's oh. the next one, man. Come on. Oh, you're like really Gary V challenge. Oh. <laughs> well, if you guys ever do get a chance to see Jenny perform, Gary Jenny v. is really one of the funniest comedians. You're very funny, oh, thank Jenny. You so I got much. to sh- uh, shoot you in Montreal, photograph you in Montreal. Oh, yeah. And you killed that it was there. So fun. Yeah, that was you had a really good set there. Thank very you. Fun, I think I fun. heard you on Sirius XM. Probably. Yeah, awesome. I'm getting that. that so. And what Money. about you, Sarah? <laughs> um, you can find me at Sarah J. Halstead on all social media platforms. And uh, my comedy special, RVs and Cats, is coming out in late January, early February on Amazon. I'm going to be at. Uh, Improv Brea, January 8th. Can I do that? This, sure. Yeah, yeah sure. Um, of course. Yeah. And, uh, this don't come out till January 9th, though. Oh, my. <laughs> oh my <laughs> Even though we're live. Yeah. Live will be January 9th. Yeah. Um, and all my shows are on my website, Sarah J. Halstead. Oh, wonderful. Oh, I forgot. I have a podcast, Gaudy Positive. Oh, gaudy? You said Gaudy? Gaudy Positive. Oh, very nice. Yeah. Very nice. What do you so mean by Gaudy? In. Like G A U D Y, like it's gaudy, oh, positive, gotcha. it's like body positive, but gaudy positive. Yeah, you get it. I love it. And Thank what about you. you, Michael? What do you have shaken that you want to share with everybody? Uh, well, Vargas says you can find Jess on Tinder, and I thought that was great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, go can. look, go yeah. look, Michael Vargas, go look. Yeah, Vargas, look it up. <laughs> I saw some uh, comedy store people on that oh, bench, you did? dude. You like, did? Yeah, I did. Uh, <laughs> when oh, I was on it, I never saw them because they're not looking for my age. Um, <laughs> Uh, follow my Instagram, High Five Michael, H I G H F I V E Michael. Uh, I post my dates. I'm around town all the time. Oh, wonderful. And uh, how about you, Brett? Uh, I mentioned the uh, podcast Issues with Andy every Friday on YouTube. And uh, you can follow me on uh, Twitter and Instagram at I Brett My Pants. Yeah, Fucking that's great. great. Yeah, you've been killing it on Twitter lately there, Brett. Oh, well, thank you. You're very welcome. You can follow me at Felicia Michaels all across the board. And uh, congratulations on the special that you just shot. Yeah, yeah congrats. congrats. I so had cool. shot a special, and it's up on Amazon as well. And uh, it's a great uh, place to have people see your stuff. So oh, great. good for you on I'll that. You can also check out my documentary that's up there called Pervs. I would appreciate that. Pervs? Mm. Pervs. Mm. It's really How good. About? I'm going to watch that. Yeah. Pervs? The, you interview uh, this call girl lady that's Ooh. in a booth. You know, it's like really the good. old school, uh, like, yeah. uh, in, you know. Like the dollhouse kind of shit? Yeah, kind of stuff. Yeah, and all these comics go in there and talk to her. Yeah. And they Joey Diaz is in it, Felipe yeah. Esparza, oh. Lori Kilmartin, a bunch of people are in Oh, it. I love oh, it. I can't yeah, wait. Yeah, yeah, cool. All right, your turn, Jessica. Um, I'm Jessica Wellington. Follow me at Jess Wellington 2 on everything. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> You can find me on uh, my impression of Jessica at Christmas dinner to my kids. Y'all got some vape juice. <laughs> I was like, "Fuck, <laughs> Jessica!" <laughs> and we traded info and shit. Yeah, we did. And we had the same sweater on, so there you matched go. on Tinder. <laughs> <laughs> I don't go that young, Felicia. Twenty three is my lowest. Okay. Um, no, but uh, follow me at Just Wellington 2 on everything. Also, check out our, our live shows that are coming up. We have one at the Ice House on uh, January 10th at 8.30. And then we have one here in the Belly Room on January 26th at 8 o'clock. Uh, check those out. And you have been lied to. Thanks, guys. <laughs>
<laughs> I'm not telling that one. You're a real liar. Please stand up. What? She's totally serious. And you have been lied to.